So we are at this 300 million doses administered mark, and that is obviously a very notable number here in terms of overall immunity in the country. It's not the 70 percent nationally that we wanted, but, but if you look at uh, the amount of immunity from the vaccines and also add in the amount of immunity that comes from people having been naturally infected, we're probably at functional herd immunity or soon to be there. So we see the numbers coming down, hospitalizations, deaths, all good news. Big question really is about the variants. And I think it's, it's interesting to look around the world at these variants and see how much of an impact they're making. If you take a look at the UK, for example, I think there's a story here that's important that you see in the graphic. At the end of January, it was primarily the alpha or the UK variant that was dominant in the UK, understandably. What happened over that time period? The numbers came down overall, which was good. But at the same time, the Delta variant started to enter the scene there. You saw the numbers pop back up. That was primarily, obviously, people who had not been vaccinated. So that is uh, the, the concern here. And we know that this is a much more transmissible variant. The UK or Alpha variant was 50 percent more transmissible than the strain before that. And this is 60 percent more transmissible than the alpha variant. So you get an idea. In Scotland, there was a study showing that people who were infected with the Delta variant were also more likely to be hospitalized. So this does appear to be more transmissible and more serious also. So that is why there's so much attention on this. If you look at the effectiveness of the vaccines, take a look there, you see that alpha or Delta, you get a lot of, uh, lot of impact, a lot of protection from these vaccines. And that's why the message remains the same to go out there and get vaccinated. It is also worth pointing out that as you can slow down the spread of the virus overall through vaccination, through immunity, you're going to be less and less likely to actually develop mutations that are problematic, that are gonna create more variants that we continuously worry about. So no matter how you cut it, which, whichever way, the message remains the same, to go get vaccinated.